But hey, let's come talk to Miss Trixie Trotta. Lovely poster. I don't know about world famous, but she's not a bad entertainer. Yeah, Excuse I wouldn't uh, look Trixie too close Trotter? at her, but yeah, what it says yeah, on my yeah. dressing room yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. At least it would yeah, if she's I a had sweetie. a dressing room. Aww. Let's see. Nice voice. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're, You're sick? under the weather? Oh yeah, sore throat. That's why I'm giving Cuball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about <coughs> that. What's a nice girl? What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, Cheap it line. Ain't so bad. He just takes some. Hey Toots, any chance you could sing that Can Can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your uh, assets. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> He's a and jerk. And quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. He's a jerk. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. He's what a jerk. You're a sweetheart. Again? You could do better. Why do you stay with the kid? You were telling me what a great guy a kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know. You don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. No, I wonder what your insurance this policy insurance is. insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. Grandpa. You know Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular Renaissance man. Renaissance. He had one of those smart guy professors pipes, see? Yeah, Can sweet girl, this? but sure. not intelligent. Well, on my get out of you know, card for weeks now. But she I has her intelligent moments. To check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like kid, you know. Alrighty. Well, right she won't turn on Tannen Thanks. yet. She's we need to, to turn give on her a reason. Tonight. Okay, Doc, if you say so. Yeah, she is, because we get her insurance hey. policy going. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Very. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's, uh, Michael Corleone. I'm a stranger here. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. That I so? own. Yes. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving until you show me some boner feed <coughs> Oh, look. Wait, oh, you nope, ain't leaving until nope. I get the dope on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bona fides. We got the bona fides. The little falsy gun here. The little lighter. I've got a little something here that might convince you. And? Don't even blink. Guns everywhere. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Valenti. Yep. Looks like little Mikey Corleone here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> Grrr, to you too. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Up the stairs we go. Alrighty. Already. He's yeah, he's not exactly staying low, is he? Especially when he's, you know, riding right across the frickin'. All right, we need her music. Edna, what? Let's see. Can I have a copy of your song? I think I could have a copy of your You Should Care Lee. <coughs> I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. The so, hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, we'll be using that later. See ya. I'll let you guys wonder about why. You'll see it shortly. 
For now, we're going to come over here to Aini, whip out the professor's pipe. Here you go, Aini. Get up with that. And hey, let's boy, go find Artie. Because, you know, we don't have a hat this time to search him by. Gotta love that nose. Get him. Go get him. And the dog just waltzes into the theater. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk of the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yes, got to get away from those prying eyes. Yeah, Einstein, you done good. Good boy. I'd give you a treat, but I don't have any treats. Alrighty, let's go over here. Do, 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 do. Come on, to the Majestic. Come on, there we go. Uh, hey, Doc, right. I could use a little help. What's the problem? Zen already needs Trixie. She needs to check over his work. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever, Clever. girl. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids' speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back Yeah, I'd love shadows. to we'll have his, you know... Trixie. You're sure uh, I'll be safe here? Perfect. Ability to convince. We'd never make you take any unnecessary. <gasps> Sagan. Sagan's kid. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll get it all worked out. Come over here. Go downstairs. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, apparently you only need to answer once. What's but... it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Well, for now, we're not gonna worry about that. We are going to worry about... Let's see. Swapping out this with the I don't hey, care. Hey, Trixie, look over there! Why? Why does that always work? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Alrighty. And she doesn't realize that she's looking at a different song. <coughs> Ugh. Bless me. Mm. Pardon. You should care. You should care. You should care. What think of you. She's right. I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. Yes, and you are. And you didn't imagine anything. Back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. Good All guy. Right. So, now what? Now I wait. Wait for the moment to take down Kid Ten. Restore my good name. And win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Yes, it is. Because we're about to orchestrate it, too. 